Okay, guys, let's take a look at the 2018 Lexus IS300. And of course, this is the F Sport. So, anyway, I buy them, man. I gotta get that F Sport. I really look, I really like the way they look, man. It looks like a samurai sword to me. Really like the, the lights, just, just the overall style and shape of the vehicle. Really like the F Sport. This is a 2018 Lexus IS300 and the F Sport Edition. This is how I do it, man. I, I put brand new brakes on there. I got brand new tires on here. This is how I saw cars. Take a look at these rims. Take a look at these sexy rims. F Sport, baby. 2018 Lexus IS300 and the F Sport. I did everything. I got the Yang and the Yang. I got you white. I got you black. There's a gold black one over there. I got you white. I got you black. So whatever your flavor is, I got you. I got you Yang. I got you Yang. Ha, got everything. Showroom order. This is what we do. 2018 Lexus IS300. Beautiful. In every way, shape, and form. Let's walk the body panel so you can see. As I always advertise, no dings, no dents, no scratches. This is how showroom auto sells cars, guys. This one even has the invisible bra. You see that here? Let me show you. See the line right here? You see that line? Like that tape thing? That's the invisible bra. That's to protect the rock chips and all that kind of stuff on this vehicle. 2018 Lexus IS300 and the F Sport coming to you from your truly showroom model. These tents are pretty, the car is pretty, everything is just real nice. It sits beautifully, drives wonderful. Really, really nice vehicle. I personally have driven this myself, so I can tell you, yeah, man. All right, I'm saving the best for last, but I can't wait anymore. You know, I'm like a greedy kid. Let's go. Ah, oh, Christ. Oh my God, I almost thought I locked the key inside the car. That would have been an adventure. Ah! Ready, Red! Ready, Red! Told you I was saving the best for last. Red interior. And of course, it's in flawless shampooed condition. Not a speck of dirt. Can't even have a speck of dirt in this car. But then, bam! Red! Red, like the country. I like, I like down south, guys, man. Yo, you got that red guts? I'm calling for that red guts. Yeah, red guts. I got the red guts, man. <laughs> That's how they say it. Red interior is not interior. It's guts. And I get it. Because your guts is in your interior. So I, I get the metaphor. You know, country as hell, but I get the metaphor. You got that red guts? Yeah, man, I got that red guts. Here we go. Red guts. <laughs> One time a guy called me from Louisiana. This was on a... On a it was on a 6 Series. I think it was 6 Series and they had a... Peanut butter interior. But he called it a different color, but he called it guts. I don't remember. He's like, yeah, 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 I got that. Uh, uh, I got, I got that. And it was a different color. He, It was, the true name of the color was amaretto. You know, but I was, when I made the video, I, I said peanut butter. I said peanut butter. But he had a different name for it. And he, yeah, I got, yeah, 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 I got that. Uh. Oh, man, that, that was the funniest call I've ever been on, man. That was hilarious, man. He, it was it was something, but to each his own, nevertheless. And, and he taught me something. I actually hooked onto that forever, man. I, I've been calling these things guts ever since. I think it's moronic, to be honest with you, but you didn't, I didn't say that. But nevertheless, I mean, hey, man, it's a, it's a trend. I'm going to follow the trend because I'm hip. You know, who am I not to call it guts? That's what they call it, guts. You know what I'm saying? That's what the streets is saying. The streets is calling it guts. So I'm going to call it gutty guts. I'm going to do better than the streets. I'm going to call it gutty guts. All right. Um, video, Ooh, look at this. Oh wow, that was nice. Let me see. Let me see that come up again. That was nice. I I opened the thing and then um, the nice Lexus car came up. Let's see if I can do that again. Ah, oh, damn it. It was a one. It was. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that looks nice, man. All right, let's turn the Funk Master Flex down. All right, so what we got? We got a uh, lane departure. We got all that here. We got paddle shifters. We got collision warning. Um, what else we got going on over here? Oh, we have heated seats, my dear brother. We got heated seats. Every car got heated seats. My car got heated seats, no big deal. But I got cooling seats. Yes, I do. Cooling seats. Heated seats as well as cooling seats. I feel my butt getting cool as we speak. And then, of course, the sport mode and all those modey modes, man. Backup camera. We are good to go. Absolutely, completely 
beautiful. Here we go. Just that red gut. Make me want to say gutty gut. I want me want to say gut every time. Push the start, of course. Vehicle is just in great shape. That AC is blowing cold. Now we, we got a heat wave popping off right now. So I know you're going to be very happy that that AC is nicely, nicely nice. Here we go. You see that red gut? Gutty gut. Beautiful, guys. This is a 2018 Paddle Shifter Lexus IS 300 and the F Spizzort. And the F Spizzwood. Don't forget that F Spizzwood. All right. That's a man that's how the streets is talking. I got I to gotta join him. Here we go. Let's go and check out what's going on. You see the cameras right there for your um, for your lane departure. And then, of course, we got six cylinder of goodness. Six cylinder of clean showroom goodness. Now, guys, let's take a look at something. You got to give us credit, man. You absolutely got to give us credit. How often do you go to a dealer and then you see the struck tower? Look at this, right? Look at this. Let's do it again. How often you go to a dealer that a dealer can wipe his head on the struck tower and come up clean? You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to touch the rest of the thing because everything is clean. You know what I mean? But how often can you go to a dealer and then they would touch some, and they would touch like the struck tower and, and it would come up clean? Like, you know, let's do it again. You know what I'm saying? Like, where other dealer you could go to that I can touch the strut tower in every crevice of this vehicle and come up clean. It just doesn't happen, man. It's just like we're unique when it comes to this kind of thing, man. We're like, we're like clean, neat freak. We're like clean nerds, man. And I and I wear that badge proudly, proudly. Because look at take a look around, guys. This is how the show this is this car showroom order for a reason. Everything look that car right there is a 14, 100, over hundred thousand miles. Look at the condition. You know what I mean? This is why we call it showroom auto. Because if it's not in this condition, if the rims don't look like this, if you don't got brand new tires, we don't do it, man. We got to give you brand new tires. We got to give you brakes and rotors. And the rims got to look like this. That's the only way we feel comfortable. Now, I honestly feel comfortable selling you this car. Until, until I am ready and I feel like this, I'm not ready to sell you the car. And that's the truth. Look, I got a car outside. If you can see that white, I don't know if I, I can't zoom in. I'm not even gonna try to zoom in. There's a white car outside, right? That car is not ready for sale. So I'm not comfortable selling it. Once it's, it's gone through the showroom boot camp, that's what I'm gonna call it now. The show, once it's gone through the showroom boot camp, then I can present it like this, I can sell it. Look, this car had like a, a little, like, like something. It was like dirt or something, but we washed it, it didn't come off. On the, it was on the window or something. Like we washed it, it was like, a, a, it was right here. Like we washed it and it come off. I buffed that. I buffed the glass with some compound and a buffer. And guess what? All gone. Bye bye. And that's just who I am. Like, like I'm not gonna give you an excuse. You're not gonna come here and see that mark on the on, on the rear um, glass, and, and then I'm gonna give you some crappy excuse. Well, you know, we tried. It didn't come out. And, you know, you could go home and put some Clorox, or you can use your wife. Uh, 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 you know the thing that they take off the. Um, I'm drawing a blank. You know the thing that they took off the nail polish? Yeah, nail polish remover. You can go home and uh, and use your wife's nail polish remover. That might, that might take it off. You could try that. I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to talk to you like this. I'm going to try my best to take it off myself. I'm going to make sure if I can't take it off, trust me, it can't be taken off. And then at that point, I'm going to tell you, look, man, I tried everything, man. It, it can't come off. Maybe you could come up with something more than I. I, I and I'm going to talk to you like that. I'm not, I'm not going to car sells you yeah yeah you can go yeah don't worry about it go get some uh nail polish remover and it'll come right off and if it's that easy why didn't i take it off if it's that easy why didn't i come here with nail polish remover and just wipe it and take it off and that's, and, and that's what i want you dealers that are listening to this to kind of understand it's better to just do it bro it takes less time to just clean the car than give an, give the whole excuse about why you didn't clean the car you see what i'm saying like it literally let's say it takes let's say it took me i don't know 10 minutes to clean that Dude, I may have to argue with a customer for an hour just about that. It's not worth it. It's way more energy, way more effort for no reason. Just clean the damn car. And then that you know, way you don't have to, you know, spend all your time going over why the car is not clean. You can spend your time better spent on trying to make some money off the damn car, let alone explaining why, you know, uh, you know, you can go get some nail parts from over. I'll come right off. I'll come right off. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll come right off. Okay, if it's that easy, why didn't you just do it, bro? Just do it and get it over with. All right. That was my lesson for the day. It actually wasn't even more for you guys. It's, it's for my competitors, actually. You know, I, I can't, you know why I want to help my competitors? I want to help my competitors because I want to up, uplift the standard. I want you to be able to walk to a dealership and see cars like this. 
Because if you go everywhere and you see the cars in this condition, guess what? Now you're gonna be programmed that this is how a used car dealer is supposed to sell cars. So hence, when you're looking for a car, you're not gonna be so apprehensive anymore. You're not gonna be so like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, people have actually asked me to take, to go underneath the car and take pictures of the underneath of the car and send to them. First of all, bro, let me, let me, let me give you a little advice if you were make, planning to make that phone call. I can't say it on this video, but you know what I'm trying to say to you, man. Like, go to, you know what I'm saying? And why would I get under my belly this, that, dirty, my, and I'm a neat freak. I, I told you that just a minute ago. So my clothes is always pressed, always clean. Like, why would I get underneath the car and dirty myself up to take pictures for somebody I probably will never see? You know, if you're here, right, and you were curious and say, hey, man, can we take a look underneath? No problem. At that point, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm just a workaholic. I probably will get on the, uh, on the floor and, like, flash a flashlight. You and I will get down there and see what the car looks like. Or we'll take it down the street and we'll put it in a lift and I'll let you see it. I got nothing to hide. I'll definitely let you see what's underneath the vehicle, you know. But for you to call me from Indiana or Oregon or something, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'd like to see the bar, uh, underneath of the car. Uh, go take some pictures from me. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, you might as well just say boy at the end of it, you know what I mean? Because apparently that's how I feel. Like, really? Like, you, you, you're not planning to come, and you're just curious on how to... Uh, well, I want to see what it looks like before I come all the way down there. Well, um, the fact that we sell quality vehicles, if we go through this much effort to clean the end, the outside of the car, more likely if, if underneath had any issue, we probably took care of that, or we're not selling it. Those are the, those. And the truth, I've actually never bought a car that... I had problems underneath. I bought cars where it had oil leaks and this and that, and we fix them before we sell them. And then guess what? We wash the engine. We wash the engine. We wash the undercarriage. It's easy. It's, it's like $60. They wash the engine. They wash the undercarriage, and they get the car nice again. You know, And that's how I sell cars. So again, I don't know why I even went into this big thing about that. Just kind of giving you an overview of how much effort we go into making sure that these cars are in this condition. And if everybody did the same thing, then that would be the standard, that would be the norm, and then I wouldn't even have to do so much because everybody would expect that it's it's done. I, I wouldn't have people that are so fearful that, oh my God, I saw tons of cars and you know, it, it had this, it had that. Well, show a model, there's no this, there's no that. I make a video to show you exactly what you're getting. I'm not gonna make it more than this. This is the best that I can do. This is the best that I can sell this car to you. All right, I'm done. I, I, I just went off like on a complete like ramp, you know, and I don't even know where I was going with it, but I was going so I and I, I couldn't break, you know, I, I was going too fast. If I broke, I would have I would have slid and I'm still going. I'm still going on this ramp. So I'm going to cut this red out right now. I said, guys, thank you for your for your uh, patronage and thank you for looking at showroom auto. May God bless you. Check out my video. Um, and all the other ones, if you got nothing better to do and you just want to hear a crazy person rant. Um, but, you know, if that's your thing. Come check me out. Otherwise, God bless you. May God bless your family. And I'll see you on the next video, God willing. Look at this. Ready, red. I got that red guts, man. You know what I'm saying? Got that red guts.